reading this affidavit that's on the internet now uh, from the individual who worked at ABC News for, I think it was, it was like a decade or more, um, whistleblower that's talking about the uh, Harris campaign and ABC News' uh, agreements on certain things, and people are investigating it now, and was sent to the House Speaker and the whole bit, but whistleblowers in the news media aren't, aren't anything new. I ran a uh, watchdog, media watchdog site, uh, newsblab.com, for a number of years, and I thrived on getting whistleblower information. People in the local media where I was reporting at with this, uh, it was basically just a hobby website. It turned out to be pretty uh, big, though. I actually put the uh, local newspaper's media person out of business, they told me, because my site was so popular. And I would get whistleblowers all the time from the different news, news organizations within the community. Followed up on a bunch of information. Some was real, some wasn't. But the ones that were real... I was able to, to write about them and, and bring it out, and it actually improved the quality of, of news in our community. So whistleblowers in the news, there's a lot of disgruntled people in the media that work for the media, a lot of them. And I found that out, which really surprised me when I did uh, newsblab.com, which I don't do anymore. But I, I was reading this affidavit, and it'll be interesting to see what happens. So I'll tell you, there's probably more out there right now that are willing to talk about different things going on that work for these individual uh, news corporations. Like I said, not, nothing unique about it. A, a lot of people are, are there wanting to talk. The news business is, is cutthroat, I'm telling you. I didn't realize that until I did this thing. Probably for eight years or so, I did this newsblab.com site, and it got very popular. I was actually given an award by the local newspaper there um, it, because everybody thought it wasn't gonna be popular, and it turned out to be a very, very popular website especially with all the media in Denver and the Colorado Springs area. So watch for these whistleblowers and we'll see what happens.